l'opposition. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Another quote in a recorded conversation. So she too has stated one thing here and the opposite there. Similarly, with the Arrive Can $54 million scandal, we see the government saying things that contradict the facts. They released a document to the House of Commons saying that Think On Inc. had received a $1.2 million contract for experimentation of mobile QR scanning. Yet the CEO said yesterday he never got any money. In fact, they don't even work in the field. So if his company didn't get the money, who did? Yeah. <laughs> the Honourable Leader of the Government in the House. Matters. Obviously, the government ensures that contracts are handed to the highest standards. Uh, there are questions about this contract that are being looked at. Uh, certainly, we want to make sure there are answers. Uh, but I will say, Madam Speaker, that what we did when the country was in a situation of, of crisis, when the opposition was calling for the border to be closed, is ensure that we brought forward an app that allowed the movement of people safely uh, during that crisis. And that is something that worked and was extremely effective, Madam Speaker. Here, here. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Making somebody rich, we just don't yet know who. So the government released a document in the House of Commons saying that Think On Inc. got $1.2 million in Arrive Can contracts. Yesterday, the CEO said, we have received no money from the CB CBSA. He further said, we're not even remotely in that space. In other words, they don't even do the work that was paid for. So this company <laughs> did not get the million too. So two questions. Who did get the money, and where is it now? Yes. <laughs> the Honourable Leader of the Government in the House. Madam Speaker, uh, Madam Speaker uh, CBSA is looking into this matter. They're aware of concerns with respect to the contract. I can assure the uh, Honourable Member opposite that in all matters with respect to contracts that we adhere to the absolute highest standards and demand those standards in every interaction that the government interacts in. But again, I will point out, Madam Speaker, the imperative nature of the action that the Arrive Can app was able to facilitate. We were in a situation where the opposition was calling for the border to be closed. We wanted to be, make sure that Canadian could travel safely. We introduced an app that facilitated that in a time of crisis and made sure the Canadians could travel. Oh, no.